Hi, my name is Tracy Gujawa, proud to be the Chief of the Wausau Fire Department and I'm welcoming you today to the opening of the new Station 2 on Seymour Lane in Wausau, Wisconsin. So coming in off of Seymour Lane, the new station too, you'll come through the main entry and you'll come through a set of double doors. When you come in, you'll see that we have a conference room to the left that'll be open to the public, as well as the uh, waiting area here that's also open to the public before we actually get into the fire station side of things. So coming out of the main entry, you can see we come right into the community room. We call this the community room because anybody in the community can reserve it and use it for meetings and things like that, as well as it's an area where we're gonna do a lot of training. We're gonna do training uh, from our TV system where we can see each other at all three stations or we could all come down here and sit together and train together as, a, as an entire company. So we can get a lot of things done in this room as well as the community being able to use it. It's a great, it's a great space. All right, so coming through the main door into the fire department side of things, outside of the main entry, you'll see that we have our dorm rooms and our living quarters. But to start with, I'll take you guys into the workout room, which unfortunately doesn't have our workout equipment yet, but you get an idea of what it looks like. So in here, we got a pretty good space. Uh, we're gonna have multiple sets of equipment in here for working out during the day. Also, you can see there's the TV, state-of-the-art equipment as far as alerting system on both walls to let us know when we get a call. And uh, once we get our equipment in here, it's gonna be awesome. So returning to the uh, sleeping areas, the dorm rooms we call them, you can see we have three of them in this hallway. And as we get closer, I'd like to, to point out that we actually have three closets in the hallway. So when a crew comes in, we have three crews, A, B, and C crew. When a crew comes in, they can put their stuff inside the closet and not bother whoever's in the room from the shift before. You can come into the dorm room here. You can see they're double-sided closets, so they can come empty their stuff from this side. And the same thing in the morning when they pack up, they can put all their stuff back in the closet. Same with the sheets. We got drawers underneath the beds, a little desk area for getting some work done, reports, whatever the case may be, as well as a dresser. So kind of a nice little dorm room, little privacy area and uh, we actually have six of them here at the station. So coming out of the dorm hallway, you can see this is the, probably the most popular room in the, in the fire station is the kitchen. Uh, obviously, we like to eat our meals together like a family, so lunch and dinner, and a lot of the preparation's gonna get done right in here. Now you'll notice that there's three refrigerators. That's for all three crews. Over here, you can see we have a television. You can see we have a dining area for sitting and eating over here as well as a counter where we can put benches and, and eat right at the island, which this island is massive and really, really excited to have that kind of space to cook. As you can see, Engineer Herdina in the background preparing lunch for today. He's got, looks like he's got some burgers and things going for the grill, which is right outside on our patio, which we'll get to. On this side of the room, you can see we got three pantries. Also again, A, B, and C crew. Coming out of the kitchen, you can see we have a nice little patio area. A uh, big concrete slab here for getting a lot of things done. As you can see, Mike's cooking out here. We'll probably get some chairs out here at some point, a big overhang for protecting from the weather and uh, making it nice and convenient with the walkway to the employee parking lot. And we're gonna be calling this our employee entrance. And also connected to the kitchen is the room where we call our day room. Inside the day room, you can see we have an area where we can sit, watch TV, kind of relax uh, at night when uh, we're done training and things like that. We'll come into this room and we'll be able to, to kick back and relax until the next emergency call comes in. All right, so coming out of the kitchen, we come down to the next hallway and then we have our next set of three dorms to my right here. The neat part about this one is the last dorm on the right, set up just like the other five, but this is actually the lieutenant's dorm, so it's a, the uh, layout is a little different. It actually has an office space for getting work done that the lieutenants need to do, as well as maybe having a private conversation with their, with their employees. So coming out of the dorm hallway, you can see we have our watch office. In the watch office, we have an area for getting paperwork done. Guys come back from med, med calls and things like that. They gotta do the reports. So this is an area where you can get your reports done, as well as uh, calls and things like that on the G2 system, which is on the wall there. So it's kind of the office space for all the guys that are stationed out here, guys and girls, I should say. So. Um, kind of a nice little area as well as a window looking over the app bay so that 
you can see what's going on in the epi and make sure that uh, things are taken care of and, and ready for the next call. So as you can see, coming out of this door, everything's kind of flowed to respond to emergencies. So coming from our dorms and our, our watch room, you can come right out into the apparatus bay where, where you can see Med 2 is in the first stall and that's uh, going right out on a 52 Parkway. Engine 2 is in the second stall. As we get to the third stall of the bay, you can see this is where truck 2 is. Truck 1 is stationed at our main station. Truck 2 will be stationed out here at station 2. And then in our last bay, our fourth bay, is where our hazmat trailer will be parked for hazmat calls and things like that. So we're talking about all bays that are drive through from one side to the other and going directly out on the 52 Parkway to make sure that we're getting our quickest responses possible to the citizens of Wausau. All right, so one of our real neat features here, state-of-the-art on the front of the station, when we respond out on the 52 Parkway, we have these state-of-the-art bifold doors which open very quickly so that we can enhance the time of our response and I can show you guys how this operates. We have openers that'll be in the vehicles as well as an opener that's here in the wall. And as you can see, it only takes a couple seconds for these doors to open all the way, allowing us to be able to pull out of the garage, respond to the call, and the sensors in here will automatically notice when we're gone and these doors will shut automatically behind us. All right, so coming from the apparatus bay, this is the, our gear locker room where we keep all our personal protective equipment. And what's, what's important about, about this room is knowing that we're not gonna take our personal protective equipment into our living quarters. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping it all in the apparatus bay on the trucks or right into this room, which kind of takes us with the flow of this room, which is our gear washer, which only washes turnout gear, as well as our gear dryer over here. That way we can make sure that we're cleaning all this stuff and making sure that we're not, uh, we're not exposing ourselves to any cancer-related carcinogens and things like that. So this is the only area of the building we'll be bringing our personal protective equipment into. And as you take care of your personal protective equipment, we also need to take care of ourselves. And that's where we come through this door and come into our bathroom area. So as we come back from a call, we can make our way into the bathroom where we keep our clean clothes. And we can also come in here and use our, our uh, decontamination steam room, which is where we can go to get the carcinogens and things like that out of our skin. Uh, NFPA standard says that's proven to eliminate uh, cancer causing issues with firefighters and getting carcinogens out of their pores and things like that. So coming off the app bay, you can see we have our hose tower here, which we also call our training tower. In this room or in this tower, we can hang our hoses from up above my head here and we can dry our hoses so we maintain and keep, take care of them, as well as get a lot of training done here, whether it be on the outside repelling or on the inside doing repelling or confined space rescue from different areas in here. So you can see we can get a lot of things done in this tower, as well as training, as well as getting practical things done to save some of our equipment. This is the outside of the hose tower where we can do our training. We can open these windows and we can repel from the outside. Another great feature that we have here for safety are these signs that you can see. We have two on each side of 52 Parkway. When we're responding to emergencies, we are able to use a switch inside the building to activate the LED flashing lights on here to let traffic know that we're coming out in emergency mode so that we can make sure we're not causing any accidents out on 52 Parkway.